Are y'all ready? scale of the neck, I, I can usually get it pretty good without having to look at it. I mean, I've been, I used to play, when I was younger, I'd always like stare at my hands. I'd always stare so uh, Dad blindfolded me, and I, I practiced blindfolded, so that's how I kind of learned to go through that. My home state is Wisconsin. I'm born and raised in Elkhorn. I'm hardly ever there because I'm always trying to stay busy out on the road playing shows. So I, I try to keep myself busy as much as possible. We've done over 600 shows. Six, six zero zero with a plus sign on the end of it. I've always had a liking to tour buses and uh, I think I, I would want to travel all over the world, um, be playing all the time, be everywhere. You know, when I was younger, I was blessed with the opportunity to travel over to Europe and play uh, some major festivals over there. And uh, it, was, it was quite the experience. I had so much fun over there. And, uh, and I'd really like to go back soon. Well, I played with the legendary Les Paul, Jackson Brown, Eric Gales, and Lance Lopez. That was a fun show. Devin Allman, Van Wilkes. Anna Popovich, that was nice. Albert Cummings, I was a little short. Chris Duarte. And even Buddy Guy says I'm number one. When I see somebody at that age, that amazing on guitar, I just have to uh, try to express myself the best I can how good that is because I saw him on, on the news. So do you think if he keeps up with it, he keeps up being as big as you? Bigger than me. I just want to say thank you, buddy, for all the hospitality at your club, especially the time I opened up for Kenny Wayne Shepherd. Also who I've played with is Jim Peterick and the Ides of March, Ronnie Baker Brooks, and that was in Denmark. Guitar Shorty, man, it was hot that day. Walter Trout, he's one of my favorites to play with. Ian Moore, I had a blast. Derek St. Holmes and Howard Lease, in Maryland. JJ Gray and the Mofro, man, that crowd was on fire. My big brother, Anthony Gomes. Joe Bonamassa, one of my favorite guitar players. Johnny Lang, he let me hang on his bus. Did I mention I like tour buses? He's awesome to be uh, playing those, you know, riffs at his age and to know so many different um, artists and you know, to be into so many different, um, you know, styles of guitar at his age is, he's way ahead of, uh, uh, of the curve if there is a curve. And some of my friends that we have lost, Michael Burks, Hubert Sumlin, and the Texas guitar legend, Bugs Henderson. And that is the short list. So when I was five years old, I, I watched a G3 video and uh, it was with Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, and Ingve Mountain. And when Joe Satriani came on, I turned around to my dad and said, Dad, that's exactly what I want to do. I, I, I knew right then and there that that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And I started listening to like Steve Ray Vaughan, Jimi Hendrix. Um, I, I kind of, I listened to more of the old style blues and then kind of went to like the newer style with all the newer artists. That, uh, that are playing blues and uh, that led me up to here where I'm still, still, I'm still playing a little blues but I'm trying to go more rock. I am, uh, I'm working on writing some, some of my own stuff. You know, I'm still keeping my blues roots 
but I'm uh, I'm trying out other genres and playing around with it a little bit. moment but I uh, I have a liking to a couple girls I highly doubt they even know it I love America right down to the core um, I love everything about it I I try to stay as patriotic as I can I have a, a new app that I just got built for me that is red white and blue and uh, I, I wear red white and blue I try I try to keep everything American based <laughs>